Look up at the sky on a clear night, and the twinkling expanse of stars can be quite breathtaking. Here we are on this one particular planet, one part of this one particular star system. But there's so, so much more that's out there. And now more than ever, science is determined to see it all. This is Unveiled, and today we're taking a closer look at the first ever images released by NASA from the James Webb Space Telescope. Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Few space missions in recent times have garnered quite as much interest as the James Webb Space Telescope. Billed as the next generation follow-up to the Hubble, the Webb has been talked about all over the world by excited and expectant astronomers. It was launched on Christmas Day, December 25, 2021. And as we found out in another recent video, its journey so far has been success after success. A problem-free launch was followed by a week's-long journey to the L2 Lagrange point, around a million miles away from Earth. The spectacular, tennis-court-sized sun shield was also unfolded seemingly without even the hint of a hiccup. And in the months since, the Webb team has been testing, tweaking, and trialing all the many scientific instruments on board to make sure that everything works just as it should do with, again, no major issues reported so far. As impressive as all of this is, however, the world has been patiently waiting to actually see something of note produced by the web. We've long been told what it's going to be capable of, only without the shots to back it up. But now, that's exactly what we have. Webb's first deep field, i.e. its first operational image ever released, was revealed to the public by NASA on July 11, 2022. A composite image, it was taken by Webb's near-infrared camera and has been widely described as the oldest, deepest, and highest resolution image ever taken of the universe. But what does it actually show? At first glance, we see a splurge of bright lights against the deep black backdrop of space. Every light is unique, however, with different levels of brightness, different colors and shapes, and with some parts that are especially full of light, while others are not so much. Each of these lights, though, is a galaxy. And what we're seeing of them is actually as they were billions of years ago. Ultimately, the web is so powerful that it can and will capture the light of the universe as it was almost at the very beginning of all things, more than 13 billion years ago. And the first images are kind of a little taster of what's possible, with a stream of more images, some looking even deeper into space than this one, promised from here on out and commentators all around the globe have variously emphasized just how amazing this is. The galaxy cluster shown in Webb's first deep field is known as SMAX 0723. It features thousands of galactic structures, many of which we're seeing in any capacity for the very first time. This particular area of space has been studied before, including by the Hubble, but many of the images of the past have shown it as though it were just one combined structure, one source of light. While scientists have long known that that's not really the case, this image is the first to truly illustrate all of the cluster's smaller parts. Even past infrared shots haven't managed to achieve such incredible clarity before. In some ways, it's like looking at an everyday object just on Earth, and then suddenly seeing the atoms that make that object up. The detail we're seeing here is completely unprecedented. Another mind-boggling aspect of the image is the realization of just how much, or how little, of the universe it is that we're really looking at. At first glance, you might assume that what's being shown is a sizable portion of the sky. But no, not by any stretch of the imagination. There certainly is a lot going on here, but really, it's a tiny, tiny, minuscule piece of the universe as a whole. According to NASA, Webb's image covers a patch of the sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. It's a tiny sliver of a vast universe. And yet it's so full of light and matter and energy. So often we speak of the incredible, almost unimaginable scale of the universe. But the web is the first facility to really show that scale in a fresh way. Imagine mapping the universe with grains of sand held at arm's length. It would be a totally impractical and impossible exercise. But now we can at least begin to visualize what each of those grains would represent. Thousands of galaxies behind each one with each of those galaxies carrying billions of stars, planets, moons, asteroids, and objects. It perhaps doesn't feel like it, given the massive limitations of human sight compared to the astounding power of Webb, but we can now truly appreciate that whenever we look up at the sky in any direction, we're also looking out at a phenomenal density of other worlds. 
And remember, this is just the beginning. There are many more images promised by the team running web. And just a day after the first deep field was released, a slew of further visuals were also made public. For scientists, astronomers, and anyone with even a passing interest in space, it's as though we've suddenly been given new eyes. It's not that what we knew before was wrong, it's just that we can now know it better. The general idea of space will never be the same again. Such is the impact that these images have already had. Indeed, with the unveiling of the first composite being an official White House event, President Joe Biden spoke of the unfathomable nature of the achievement. So where do we go from here? The web will systematically update our maps of the universe into high-definition visual feasts, and science will be able to catalog space on a level never seen before. From the outset, the web has had four main goals. To find light from the first stars and galaxies after the Big Bang. To uncover the nature of galaxy formation in detail to improve and specialize our understanding of star and planet formation, and to search even the most distant systems for signs of life. It's long been predicted that the web will give us a much better grasp of habitable worlds, and the first images certainly haven't dulled that hope. In fact, there's now perhaps more excitement surrounding the web than there ever has been. So successful has it proven until this point. For so long, the universe has been a near total mystery to us, our knowledge of it has been guided by theories, estimates, and projections. But now, we're filling in the blanks to a major degree and lifting the veil to replace mystery with comprehension, to stare into the heart of space and really understand what it is we're seeing. What's your verdict on the first web images? What do you want to see in the images of the future? And what do you think the wider applications for them could be? Right now, there's a reported rush on between scientists and astronomers to book time to work directly with the telescope itself. As such, we can expect to have plenty of in-depth studies published over the coming years, which will likely lead to many more cosmological breakthroughs. Might there be implications for the search for alien life or for future space travel? The aim is to get to know planets, stars, and galaxies better than we've ever done before. The team behind Webb even foresees the telescope one day soon answering questions that we haven't even formulated yet. It's as though this fantastic machine is lighting the way along a path that's also only just being laid out before us. We're seemingly then on the brink of a monumental change and an extremely exciting future. A revolution for space research and a massive shift in terms of our perspective as a species regarding our own place within it. We've known for decades that the universe is huge and that our galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one tiny part of something far, far greater. But has that point ever been more clearly shown than right now? Because that's the new reality we're living in following the release of the first ever images by the James Webb Space Telescope. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.